So for quick context, Gun and Killer join the gang and they gotta beat these trial games to get a card for this crazy bomber he does. So when they get to the spot, there's this big black sumo wrestler looking dude and he's like, if you wanna get to the boss, you won't have to go through me. So then bro just sets himself in a circle of fire and he's like, if you can knock me off this ring, I'ma let you see the boss. And so then this bald dude steps up and I guess he wants to do some black on black crime, but he ends up getting destroyed, you feel me? And so you know that man Killer was always on go, so he's like, hey, I'll handle this one, y'all. So he walks over to the bar, grabs a beer, and he pours it on dude's head and sets this man's head on fire. <laughs> Like, bro, I don't, I don't think y'all understand. This is thug activity. So when they get out of the spot, they get a call from the bomber, dude. He's like, y'all gonna have to run that card or run y'all lives. And you know, go not playing none of that. Go like on Greed Island, I ain't running no card. You gonna have to run my fade. So after they get off the phone with the ops, they devise a plan to let the trio handle the bombers and they gonna act as decoys. So the bomber dude pulls up and he's like, run them cars. But Killua and Gon like, nah, to pack a op, you gonna have to catch a op. And they start dipping out. And so finally, when they land into a forest, they all decide to split up, but this is all a part of the plan. So this leaves Gon and get through the main bomber to fight one-on-one -on -one, and it's about to get wicked. So Gon charges at this man with a flurry of attacks, but it's not working. Like Genthu's either blocking him or striking back, just knocking this man. But then Genthu's like, so who told you about my power? Well, that doesn't matter anyway, cause I'm about to rock your stuff even more. And then he just hits this man Gon with a mean two piece kick so meanwhile all that's going on bisky is absolutely piecing up the other bomber dude but he's like you thought i was taking you seriously pimp slap and rocks her across the sand so as bisky's getting up she just starts getting more muscular and muscular and she's like now i'm done playing then she one taps the bomber <laughs> Bro, I was so caught off guard by this. So Killua, on the other hand, is literally playing around and experimenting during his fight. So first he tests his little electric shock and then shocks the dude. And then he's like, experiment number two, and pulls out these yo-yos. And as he sees one, it cuts a tree down. So Killua was like, yeah, these weigh about 50 kilograms. They pack a little punch. And dude is distraught. And so the bomber he finds thinks he ends up getting a free kick on Killua. But then out of nowhere, the yo-yo he just swung comes around and rocks bro in the head. So as bro's on the ground, Killua stands over him and like, man, you be lacking way too hard. And then he just shocks him to sleep. Now back to Gon's fight, he's really going through it over here getting whipped. Like, I don't know why they set him up with this 1v1, but still, it's part of the plan. So it gets so bad to where Ganthu starts giving the villain speeches like, just give it up, you're not about that life. You was not gangster or a thug. When he says this, Gon's like, oh nah, he tested my gangster. I'm gonna have to go off script with the plan. So then Gon shows he's really about it and attacks this man, sacrificing his arm just to get a swing off. But then Gon's like skipping and pulls out his Yu-Gi-Oh card and is like, hey Genthu, this is your last chance to surrender. I'm telling you. Surprisingly, Genthu's like, I give up. So then Gon walks up to him and Genthu's like, could you leave me this one last card? And as Gon leans in to look at it, this man Genthu sneaks him and chops him in his neck. And Gon didn't like that because that goes against the hood code. So then he's like, you know what, Gintha, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. So then Gon punches the ground and they both fall into this crater sized hole that they set up. So it turns out that Yu Gi Oh card Gon grabbed him earlier was a boulder and he throws that thing up in the air. Gintha starts stressing, man. So Gintha ends up escaping the boulder, but as he looks up, he sees this man going charging up the meanest finisher of all time. So Gantu's like, nah, don't do this. Please don't do this. Gon's like, nah, on Big Green Island, I run this. And booms this man Gantu in the chest. So now we gotta talk about when Gon and Killua terrorized Heaven's Arena. And so before Gon's first fight, Killua was like, hey, just imagine your opponent's trying to give you a free mixtape and handle business. And so when Gon gets to the fight, bro tries to swing on him, he's like, we? And then he remembers what Killua said, and he's like, I don't want your mixtape. Get off me! And then he just sends this man flying into the wall, bro, leaving the imprint of his body. Meanwhile, Killua does the same and once have to do he going against. Like these boys are literally farming bread, real paper chasers. But right after the fight, Killua's op senses go off and he spots one. So fast forward a little bit, Killua ends up going against his rival gang member and he's like, alright, I'm gonna end this quick. And he chops bro in the back of the neck, knocking him out. But a couple seconds later, this man gets up. Kill was like, all right, I guess I didn't put enough power into it. And then he chops the man again in the same spot. So when he gets up the next time, Lil Bro's staring at Killua and Killua's like, what, what's, what's up with you, bro? But then all of a sudden, Lil Bro activates some Hall of Fame Intimidator or something. And then this man retreats backwards. But then out of nowhere, Lil Bro's teacher just yells at him from the stands and he's like, and the whole crowd is just confused, bro. So after the fight, Killua ends up winning, but then this man is scolding him. He's like, what did I tell you about using that forbidden hood technique? Look around. We already made it out the hood. We in the burbs. Now lock in. 
And so after that, Gon's like, Killua, are you really about that life? Because a little boy just had you shaking in your boots. I personally wouldn't let that slide. But regardless, Gon and Killua keep fighting and they make it to the 200th floor. And so when they try to get through to the sign up thing, this man is Soka sitting in the corner using his intimidation to keep them from getting through. But then all of a sudden the teacher pulls up and he's like, don't worry y'all, we gonna spin back. So when they get to his crib, he basically teaches them that thug life and them boys spin right back and stomp through that man's hall of fame intimidation. And so later one thing leads to another and Liberal gets caught lagging by the ops in that alleyway and they like, oh yeah, we got your J's. But then this man Killua comes around the corner and is like, you know what, I knew y'all was gonna be on this timing. Just give him back and you guys can get easy wins off me for free and promise to keep going out of these shenanigans. It's perfectly fine with me. We will only fight you, Killua. And so they register for the fights and Killua was like, you know, if you break your promise, you know what, never mind. The next day. Tickets for sale, tickets for sale. We have Gone versus the mysterious white man. Excuse me, gang, but does this white man have one arm? Yeah, and he's supposed to be fighting Gone, that crazy kid. Finna put this man on a t-shirt. So later that night, Gone and Killua are walking and Gone's like, they threatened me with Lil Bro's shoe, so I had to fight him. And Killer was like, you don't need to worry, Gon. Trust. And just by his face alone, you could tell he was gonna get into some thug activity. And so the day Killer and Ghostman are supposed to fight, this man Killua pulls up on Ghostman with a knife over his head, and he's like, man, I can't believe you broke the promise. Now I just might have to kill you, bro. But since I'm feeling nice today, we can do something different. So today I'm gonna have a forfeit win because you disappear and you don't fight me or Gon, you get it? And if you do share your face here again, I'll kill you. Now open your eyes if you understand. Nice, I think we're finally on the same page now. Isn't that great? And Killua is the winner by forfeit. And so later as this man skipping town, he's on the phone with his homies and he's like, man, this kid is crazy, y'all. I had to leave, y'all don't understand. Man, this dude just scary. I ain't scared of no kid. I ain't scared of no grown man. Man, we can take him easily. He's just a little brat. We've all seen man, him. Man, put that on something. Your homie was saying the same thing before I caught him lacking. And just remember one thing, I can threaten you whenever. When you're sleeping, taking a dump, you know. The regular stuff and so then this man killer just walks out through the front door like he owns the place the next day so when it's time for going match he's just ready with his fishing rod i guess and then when the match starts he just sprints at bro but he can't do nothing because he's in fidget spinner mode and so cripple man ends up throwing his spinners at gone but gone's like one arm block all of them gone so finally gone throws his fishing rod at this dude and he ends up missing or so everybody thought because then this man pulls up the floor and sends this dude flying <laughs> so fidget man crashes into the ground and gone just stands over him and he's like please don't don't do this. I have children. I have a family to feed. Please, no. And when the smoke clears, apparently this man Gon said, when you go low, I go lower. Because he punched out his prosthetic leg. <laughs> nah, but that's insane. Yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about how dirty Killer would do his mans. Yeah, bro, had him dropping out the sky. He said, either die or land in my electric arms. <laughs> hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video for real. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with new videos coming. Through Crew 5 Bell, God bless, and we out.